Yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Recent opinion polls done by Radio Africa, the one they normally release through the Star newspaper, shows Raila Mulo Odinga for the first, ta first time gives William Ruto a humiliating defeat in all provinces except in Central and in Rift Valley. So in this video, I want us to have a look at those results for they are going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion in this video. In case you've bumped here for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's have a look at the results. If elections were held today, who would you vote for as president? Raila Odinga, 47.4%. Ruto, 43.4%. Kalonzo, 1.9%. These opinion polls were done before Kalonzo Musioka joined Raila Molo Odinga. So you can see that even before Kalonzo joined Raila Odinga, Raila already had overtaken William Ruto. And through those intelligence, that might have also persuaded Kalonzo into joining Raila Molo Odinga. Kalonzo had seen that it's, there has a new team that most likely was going to win this year's election. That's why Kalonzo Musioka might have joined as a new trick. And if you go through, or rather if you look at these opinion polls per region, you can see there clearly Raila beats Ruto in all provinces except in Central and in Rift Valley. And my attention was drawn to Central, Nyanza, and Upper Eastern. So have a look at, let's have a look at Central. In Central, you can see Raila getting 28.2%, Ruto 57.2%. And then in Nyanza, you can see Raila 78.3%, Ruto 17.1%. Upper Eastern, that's Meru, Embu, Tarakanithi, Raila 38.8%, Ruto 57.0%. Those are the latest, latest opinion polls by Radio Africa. The ones they normally release in their print media by, or the ones they normally release through the Star newspaper. And as I talk right now, the Star, or rather the Star newspaper, or rather Radio Africa, Radio Africa, they have not made these opinion polls public, at least when I'm talking now, I don't know whether they'll make them public or not, but so far, they have not made them public. And we are being told from some quarters that William Ruto called them and warned them not to make these opinion polls public. Though those are just rumors and allegations, and I don't have any evidence to prove those allegations. But from some quarters again, we are being told, and it's also believed, that William Ruto has got some interest in Radio Africa. So when the opinion polls were showing William Ruto beating Raila in all the provinces, the Star and, and Radio Africa, they were really making these opinion polls actually very, they were publicizing these opinion polls very, very fast. But now that Raila has overtaken Ruto, they are reluctant to publish these polls. But what I've shown you there are the exact results by Radio Africa Poll. And then again, if you look at these polls some months back, these polls were showing clearly that William Ruto was beating Raila in all eight former provinces. Yes. And then as time went by, they were showing William Ruto beating Raila in all eight provinces except in Nyanza. And then as time went by again, they were showing that now William Ruto was beating Raila in all provinces except in Nyanza and Western. Then it came except in Nyanza, Western and Coast. Then it came to Nairobi. And now you can see clearly the tide has changed. It's now Raila Odinga 
beating William Ruto in all the provinces except in Central and in Rift Valley. And from where I sit, without taking sides, the reality on the ground has started manifesting itself. Because even without any opinion poll, you can clearly tell and see that Raila will win in Nyanza, in Western, at the coast, in Nairobi, and also in Northeastern. You don't need to do an opinion poll to know that. So these opinion polls, are, I tend to believe as others' election approaches, they are now getting the actual mood on the ground. And as others approaches again, you will find that maybe now, as Uhuru Kenyatta will now go to the mountain, you will now find even Raila overtaking William Ruto on the mountain. Because so far, the president who is still the kingpin of the mountain has not gone to the mountain to start his campaigns. And when he does that, you will find Raila actually overtaking William Ruto also in Central. So eventually by August, I'm seeing a likely possibility and a situation where Raila might win in all the provinces in Kenya except in the Rift Valley. That is something I'm seeing with a lot of confidence. And then let's have a look, or rather let's go back to Raila's performance in Nyanza because uh, there is a very interesting point I want to make here. In the last election of 2017, we had Nyamira and, Gusi, or, and Kisi counties. Those are predominantly the Gusi counties. In the last elections of 2017, from the results that were released by IEBC, Uhuru Kenyatta beat Raila Molo Odinga in Nyamira County. Uhuru had 49.7%. Raila had 49.5%. It was almost a tie. Though those elections from those two counties, we were told they were mad with the loss of rigging and irregularities. That is something that Kenyans know, and that's something that is in public domain. But still the results that were released by IBC showed Uhuru beating Raila in Nyamira. And then in Kisi County, it was almost a 50-50 again. Raila had 55, Root Uhuru had 45%. So you can see largely that in the two Uzi counties, it was almost a 50-50 situation. But if you compare that to 2022, there is a drastic shift in the two counties towards Raila Molo Odinga. And if an election was to be done there fairly, without any form of rigging, I'm expecting Raila Odinga to perform way much better than he actually did in 2017. In 2017, it was almost a 50-50. In this year's election, I won't be wrong to conclude that if an election was to be done in those two Gusi counties, Raila would get over 80% of the votes in those two Gusi counties. I'm saying that with a lot of confidence. And then in Luanyanza counties, in 2017, it was showing Raila was getting 99.97. That's a given fact, it, and it can actually be a repeat in this year's election. Only that this time around, we might find a turnout in those low counties actually going up because now they are seeing for a fact that the reality of Raila's presidency, or either chances of Raila becoming the president, are more realistic than those previous elections. So that might actually increase turnout in those low counties. So, overall, in Nyanza, in 2017, with all the rigging claims, Raila had about 83% of the votes in Nyanza as a whole. In this year's election 2022, Raila is going to perform far much better than that. And I'm seeing a situation where Raila will garner over 90% of the votes cast in Nyanza as a whole. So you can see that likely this opinion poll is still not yet getting the actual, the actual feeling on the ground. But I won't blame them because we still have five months to the election. Maybe in the coming months, they will just actually factor in that reality that Raila's performance in Nyanza will stand at over 90%. I know as time goes by, they will capture that in their poll. And then also in Upper Eastern, 
An opinion poll was released about one month ago, not by this group, but I think it was some other opinion poll by another research firm. And it released an opinion poll in Meru. In Meru, Raila was performing at around 38%. William Ruto was performing at around 55%. And then in Tarakanithi and in Tarakanithi and in Ego, Raila was not performing all that well. But now that in the in those upper in Upper Eastern, for Raila to stand at around 38%, it means that Raila, Raila's popularity in Embu and also in Taraka Nidhi has also increased as well as his performance in Meru County. So it's almost certain that in Meru you might find Raila as of today, right now, almost a 50-50 kind of a situation. So as to project that maybe in the remaining some few months, I'm seeing a, a high possibility where Raila might actually overtake William Ruto in Upper Eastern. And then in Central, when Uhuru Kenyatta will also hit the ground campaigning, Raila will just overtake William Ruto in also in Central Province again. So overall, we might find Raila performing actually far much better mm, in Mount Kenya than actually did in 2017, and not just performing, but winning the mountain vote. So that means that by August, William Ruto most likely, and this is something I've been stating in this YouTube channel, a candidate contesting for the elections, presidential elections, for the very first time, that candidate tends to get only votes from his ethnic community. And this year, 2022, is not going to be in any way different. William Ruto by August, I'm seeing William Ruto only winning votes from Rift Valley. Raila will beat William Ruto most likely in all the seven former provinces. And I'm saying that with a lot of confidence. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, from these polls again, we just hope that, the radio, that radio Africa will make these polls public the way they have actually been doing, because so far what they have done is to release the opinion polls on the running mates, where they are saying Musanda Mudabadi is the best running mate for William Ruto, and Peter Kenneth is the best running mate for Raila Molo Odinga. But I hope they'll also publish, publish, I mean, this presidential election results just the way they have also been publishing those other previous ones that were showing William Ruto winning in all the eight former provinces. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did state when we were starting, in case you've bumped here for the very first time, and so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you, God bless you, God bless Kenya.